Hello, welcome to Smart Customs, new UNSC Reach Marine Custom Soldier. He's got snow camo instead of his standard jungle camo that the figure comes with straight from McFarland. He has the new Challenger Heavy Cannon. He's coming on a snow base to obviously match his snow camouflage. And the cannon has a light up cannon so it looks as though it has a constant plasma beam or it has uh, a pulsing plasma beam. I'll demonstrate that in just a minute. The Marine himself, he has various paint modifications. He has extra pouches, uh, custom plasma grenade there. You see his gear out in front of him. There's also some pieces to put on the base with it. He has a hose that goes to a leg uh, contraption on his back that also ties into his backpack. And I'll just demonstrate quickly how the magnets work so you understand what the mag points are get a closer look here at the marine and you can see his monocle computer system that ties directly into the cannon his face his armor everything has been weathered and distressed and just take a quick look at him he's got some added pouches here's the added tube on his back leg you can see some of the mount the magnets mounted in his armor there we'll just quickly demonstrate how those work there's the custom plasma grenade mounted. It can also mount his standard frag grenade or any of the other weapons that I've uh, added to any of my previous figures. His back can mount his heavy shotgun. It also quickly mounts his backpack. The peg was not very secure. Now with the magnets it's very secure. So we can add, add one of his grenades there just for the time being. Now I'm going to take his backpack off for a second and show you if you insert the tube into his backpack, reattach his backpack, basically what you want to do is get a good bend in the tube and just insert it into the leg tube. What that does is gives it a bit more high tech look. Now he does stand behind his cannon. His hands do go on the grips. Once you have him mounted behind it, it's very simple. Here's just a small technical piece that can be put somewhere near the cannon. He has a backpack, some ammo boxes. We'll just put his other weapons over there for a second. And now I'm going to demonstrate just the look of the cannon here for the time being. We're going to just zoom up a bit here. get you more squared up and as we rotate this around you can see some of the details of the cannon it has many modifications 16 different parts went into making this but as we come down there's a button underneath as you push it once you see there's a blue plasma glow now I'm going to push it again and now it pulses so as it's coming straight at the camera you can see it has that blue plasma pulse as he comes around you can see the details of his armor, you can see the details of his cannon. And as we zoom in up on him, you can see they do make a good match in the snow. So we'll come around the back here. See how the whole thing comes around. You can see it firing at the white background there. There's a good control panel that he actually looks at there. It has a glass enclosure to keep it uh, away from the elements. We'll bring it back around here one more time. This was quite a, a few hours putting together, but I really think the two pieces come together well and the coloring is perfect for snow. The base is included. It's all part of the same system. Thank you. This is Smart Customs. You can see more at smart-customs.com.